you you have a lot of um, celebrity coming from Love Island, is that right? Yeah, I've actually <laughs> been lucky enough to see Rita Ora yeah. and also Dua Lipa. We also had to give injections to each other yeah. to oh, practice. No. There was one guy who was very nervous <laughs> and he accidentally injected his uh -uh. own hand. So we actually start practicing on patients from second year. <gasps> That's so soon! Year. It's good to kind of prepare a little bit for the interview. If you anything you can do with manual dexterity, this is one of the most important Hello, 大家好，欢迎嚟到升学界花姐 channel。见唔见到今日我个背景有唔同咧？今日我哋就讲下点样可以入牙科。我亦都邀请到我有一个大学嘅朋友 ，Dr. Richard Marks 喺我嘅身边，就会同大家咧就讲解一下点样入英国嘅大学读牙科啦。Richard is really more into a very special type of dentistry, and that makes you really famous. <laughs> I'm really interested in helping people with their smile and cosmetic dentistry, which is like a smile makeover. I had been really interested in that, and I started to also write for various press and media, and when they were asking questions about dentistry. And then I was lucky enough to get on television,、yeah. and I was lucky enough to start treating some different celebrities、yeah. and doing some celebrity smiles. So once I started, then that really took off. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you you have a lot of、um, celebrity coming from Love Island, is that right? Yeah, I have lots of celebrity from Love Island, but I've also really been lucky enough to see Rita Ora、yeah. and also Dua Lipa. You know, so I've been very lucky to have all different types of celebrity. I was really interested in school, obviously, and interested in、uh, getting into dentistry. My father is actually a dentist,、mm. but、um, dentistry, I would say, is good for anybody who's interested in doing something that is practical and is a job with people. Um, for me,、um, I was interested in studying sciences, so it's really good for people who are also interested in science.、Mm. If it's something that you really enjoy, obviously there's the cosmetic side where you can improve people's smiles, and there's also a thing where you're helping people out with pain, helping nervous <laughs> patients, obviously. <laughs> so it's a really nice job because、um, you really feel that you've made a difference to people. And then A levels,、um, I did sciences.、Um, at the time, you could also do one other A level different. So I did chemistry, biology, and English literature, which、wow. is a little bit different. Wow! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But a lot of people do chemistry, biology, physics, and maths. You know, there's lots of different combinations. Then after that,、um, it's important, obviously, to fill in your UCAS form, describe why you're passionate about dentistry. The other thing I think is important is about what extracurricular activities you do. If you're interested in any sports and you have other hobbies, you know, I was really into swimming and cross-country running. <laughs> That's something really to highlight. If you anything to do with manual dexterity, this is one of the most important things they play. So if you have a skill that you're Good with your hands. So people who play musical instruments, and then for me, I was really good with artist drawings, and we had to do special biological cell drawings as well. And I actually brought those into my interview、wow. to show them. So that showed how I was good with my manual dexterity.、So、wow! It's always a plus if you're good at creative, have a bit of creativity as well.、Mm. Do you mind if I ask what do you get in your GCSE and A levels as a reference? Yeah. So I、um, got、uh, mostly A's and two A stars in my GCSEs, and then I have got just three A's at A level. But one thing with dentistry is you generally have an interview. It's not just you cast base. It's good to kind of prepare a little bit for the interview, learn at least some basics of dentistry, and really they want to find out. Why you're interested in dentistry and、mm -hmm. what you might、yeah. really enjoy about、mm -hmm. being on the course、yeah. and that passion if you've got passion.、Mm. And how important is a work experience to your application? 
I think that um, having some work experience is a really good thing, any placement you can yeah. have. Um, I was lucky because of my father being a dentist, yeah. so I was able to shadow him, go into practice. Mm -hmm. But I think if you've at least kind of worked in dentistry or even shadowed a dentist, that's really good because they feel like you at least know the dental surgery setting and you're definitely in a position where you can understand it, the job a little bit, and you've made a really informed decision. Which uni did you choose and why you choose it? I chose King's College London, um, which is part of the University of London. It has three hospitals joined together, GKT, mm -hmm. which is Guy's, King's and St. Thomas. Um, I think King's College is really good if you want to be in London. You know, some people really enjoy London. Mm. I really enjoyed it. I had an amazing time. It yep. was great, as you know. Yes. But some people prefer a campus-based university, which that is not the case with King's College London. But the hospitals are really good. Um, Guy's Hospital is fantastic. Has a brilliant view from Guy's Tower. And also St. Thomas's, right near Westminster, you know, near Big mm. Ben. So fantastic location and the King's College Hospital as well as a world-class hospital so and then they have some interest if you're interested in things like I'm interested in treating nervous patients <laughs> helping them overcome dental phobia um, it's something I'm very passionate about and they really helped you with that the other thing is you have an elective year um, in your elective year which you go not for a year but just for a short period to a university in a different place um, we actually went to Tokyo, so <laughs> it was pretty really? amazing. Yeah, we went to Tokyo. And so, um, you know, I definitely recommend that. There's another great thing about being at King's College. What choices you put in your UCAS, did you remember them? Yeah, so I had chosen a few different dental schools. I chose um, King's College London, mm -hmm. obviously, um, Queen Mary's, which is uh, also in London, and then I chose some non-London based universities, Sheffield, um, Liverpool, Leeds and Birmingham. I think at that time you could only choose six. So you got into King's and what was your insurance choice then? Uh, after that I was interested in either um, Sheffield or mm. Queen Mary's. I actually really liked um, Sheffield with trams, it was a campus based <laughs> university yeah. and I got a really friendly good vibe from it. Mm. I really enjoyed the five-year course. Um, when people started who were doing the three-year courses, mm -hmm. who were doing humanities and English and other degrees, they started leaving after three years. Mm -hmm. And I was really happy that I had another two <laughs> years at university. <laughs> of course, by the time you get to the end of the five years, you're ready to go out and start working. But I think a five-year course is a good time for dentistry mm -hmm. because you're working on patients yeah. and you know you really need to perfect your skills with patients and your practical skills and also there's a lot to learn as mm. well. You do have to see some things in dentistry, obviously there is some bleeding, that is kind of thing. And we also had to give injections to each other to oh, practice. No. <laughs> how, 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 show me? So basically you have to uh, give the injection in the mouth and there was one guy who was very nervous <laughs> and he accidentally injected his uh -uh. own mouth. <laughs> Really? And he made his nan numb before he even started. <laughs> but do you have specific place that you practice? Yeah, they as show well? you. Obviously, show you, you practice before on a model before you then on just a you know a plastic model or whatever. And we have more like a there was an actual model made like a quite a lifelike models of so, your mouth. Yeah, and they have something called they called the phantom head. <laughs> which is a model with teeth in. Yeah. And sometimes you can put natural teeth in that have been removed and you can practice on natural teeth. Wow. So that's really good and really interesting. And the other thing is, well, before you could start on patients, you, we had a test which they called the license to drill, <laughs> which was a test to practice and show that you were ready to move on from the phantom head, which is the practice teeth, yep. onto the real patient. Oh. So it's really just doing a simple filling, because do, even doing a filling can be difficult when yeah. you're doing it your first time. So then you have to check the bite, how the teeth bite together, 
and make sure it's all polished correctly mm -hmm. and then they'll tell you whether you passed or you failed. <laughs> <laughs> Which here you started practicing on a patient? So we actually start practicing on patients from second year. <gasps> That's so soon! Year. Very soon, very quickly. Wow! Only the first year is purely academic <laughs> and then second year you're treating patients. How do you get people to come to your practice session? Do you volunteer? Uh, you can get friends and family, that's, that's one way. But people will apply because it is a free treatment in the hospital. So people don't have to pay. Um, so that attracts people to come and have their work done. And the other thing is, even though the treatments take a long time, there's a consultant who's a highly experienced um, teacher of dental surgery watching and checking all the treatments. So you'll always get a good treatment because the consultant's watching over making sure everything's perfect. you want to be a dentist, these are good characteristics. I think you should be uh, hopefully a nice and calm character because people get very nervous so it's important to be calm and reassuring. It's important to have a steady hand. Oh. You don't want to have a shaking hand. <laughs> it's important to be very um, perfectionist or caring about your work because when you do um, a filling or any work you need to make sure that it's like polished correctly and everything is done really well and nicely so you've got to be someone who takes a lot of care and detail and you can also have some creativity because it can be a bit like sculpture you're shaping things i think those are the main things um, the people who might find dentistry difficult or challenging is firstly, obviously, if you're squeamish, you don't like any bleeding or any kind of um, human things, <laughs> injections. There are people who faint, so <laughs> it's important that you are someone who's not nervous of those things. Mm. Dentistry is something that if you're really interested in people, creativity, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, have a very calm and reassuring. Wow! <laughs> it's not always true, but dentistry is a good profession. You can, one really good thing about dentistry is you can generally work as much or as little as you want. So if you want to do long hours, there's always going to be work for you. If you want to work late, if you want to work extra hours. And you can also do more complicated work, which obviously commands a higher price. And also, as you get better and better, you can set your own price. So there's no real limit to what prices you can set, as long as the work is good enough, you know? Just to say, Richard offers emergency <laughs> treatment, yes. which is really... It's mm. very good. <laughs> I was a nervous patient. I really hate dentists. And I, to me, because my parents put some braces on um, to fix my teeth when I was 10, and they did it so violently. After that, I really hate dentists. And then before I reconnect with um, Richard, I didn't go to a dentist for 10 years until my crown falls off. And then I called you. Yes, yes. <laughs> We had a lot of different treatment, isn't it? For yeah. nervous patients, we got sunglasses. Yes. We got music. Music and headphones. Headphones. We got Happy Pew. Yes. <laughs> we are. So I had a lot of different kind of method to help me. But now I can come to see you every year, which is Fantastic. really nice. So if anyone wants to see Richard, your clinic is in Wimpole Street. That's right, 18 Wimpole Street. 18 Wimpole Street, and then you can try to book an appointment with it with him so you can definitely see him in person if anyone wants to but thank you so much for thank today you. good to see you yes. always. okay thank you very much <laughs> <laughs>